Hey guys, Tegan here from BlueSense Digital. How do you set up Shopify slash Google Ads conversion tracking? In this video, we're gonna go through that. So diving straight into it, just to reference, we use a blog from a guy called Emmanuel Flossy or Flossy, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. He's from Feed Army. Just to give him a shout out here, we use his setup. So we were using a previous uh, conversion tracking method that um, he suggested previously, but there's, there's been an update to the system. So just to go through how to set this whole system up. So starting off on the Google Ads side, you'll need to go to tools and settings up at the top here, go to conversions, and that'll take you to this conversions page here. And then to set up a new conversion action first on the Google side, you'll need to hit uh, set up a new conversion action there, then hit website, then put in your website URL, um, hit scan, then from here, just scroll all the way down and go to create conversion action manually using code. So hit that and create your new conversion action here. So we're gonna do purchase conversion name. We can call that uh, BSD Enhanced Conversion Tracking Shopify. I'll just call this pixel purchase. So pixel purchase, um, then use different values for each conversion. Just change that to zero. Essentially what this does is if a, uh, or if some sort of purchase comes through that doesn't have a value, the default value that will get assigned to that would be $0 as opposed to $1. So just leave that like that, change that to zero, count every conversion and then leave everything else here the same. Um, down at the bottom here, just ensure that you've ticked use enhanced, sorry, use enhanced conversions for this conversion action and then you can hit done. Then from here, scroll down and hit save and continue. Then from here, um, what you can do is just leave this open for a second and then go back to the actual blog post itself. Again, I'll link this blog post in the video description. So from here, scroll all the way down to the code section down at the bottom here, copy this entire piece of code. So copy that, then go over to your Shopify store and hit settings, then customer events on the left here and then we're gonna to need to create a new pixel. So hit add custom pixel and we'll just call this Google Ads conversion tracking. So we'll just call this Google Ads conversion tracking. Um, hit add pixel. Then from here, just remove everything that's here. So you can delete all of that and paste that code that you've just copied from the blog post into this section. Now we're gonna to need to change out two things in the code. So first is the AdWords ID, um, and then second is the conversion ID. So these two pieces here, we are gonna to need to rotate out. So just for reference, where we get those is if you go back to the Google Ads dashboard. So back to the Google Ads dashboard, if you go to your, or stay on this conversion page here, if, okay, so you can say see event snippet, and then here is where you get those details from. So as you can see here, that AW3128587A2. Um, so let's just copy that. So do not copy the quotation marks as well, just everything in between the quotation marks. So I'll copy that. Um, if you want to find this event snippet once you've hit done here, just to show you, um, once you've hit done, go back into the conversion action um, and then go to edit settings. Sorry, don't go to edit settings. Go down at the bottom here to install the tag yourself. And then down here under the event snippet, you'll see that same little snippet of code. So, that is that, just one, or just to quickly reference here, I'm gonna change this to secondary for the moment because I don't want this to track as a primary conversion action for the moment, so I just wanna see that um, everything is working before switching that over. So leave that as secondary for the moment, and then once you see that your, um, once you see that your, your tracking tag is working correctly, you can come and switch this over here to primary, and then switch the main one to secondary and then that'll essentially switch your, your tracking over to the new tag. But not to get sidetracked, we've obviously copied our ID. Now to head back over to the Shopify store, um, 
paste your ID in between those two quotation marks. So we've pasted our ID there. And then we're gonna to need to replace, or we're gonna to need to copy this first piece here, which is our AdWords ID, and paste that in two places. Sorry, not one place, two places. So the first place is up here. As you can see, that AdWords ID there. Paste that AdWords ID in there, and paste the AdWords ID in here. And then and obviously your full ID and conversion ID are in this bottom section over here. Then just something to reference when saving this code, it's a bit of an awkward one, I just figured this out now, um, and it might catch you, is if, let's say I make a change to this code, I, as you can see, I can't connect this. And it, and it you know, you, you kind of might think, oh, something's wrong here in terms of access. You have to first save the pixel up at the top here. So I'm just gonna type that back in there again. As you can see, I've just saved that pixel. Once you've saved the pixel, then you can hit connect. And then you can hit connect here on that confirmation bar and there you go, pixels connected. Um, and that'll all be set up to Google Ads itself. Just going back to Google Ads for a second, once you have connected that pixel, you need, you'll need to set up the enhanced conversion tracking on the Google Ads side using the CSS selectors that are detailed, or apologies, this tag automatically selects that previous or those previous CSS selectors that we had to add in. So just to show you this process here, so go to your conversion action, um, click in here, go to the bottom here under tag setup, then go to install your install the tag yourself. Sorry, that was incorrect. Go to edit settings, then go to enhanced conversions, then under this section here, go to conversion settings, and that'll take you to this page here. Then from here, just obviously ensure that uh, turn on enhanced conversions has been ticked. Um, ensure that Google tag has been selected. Then under tag details, so just click on that and it should open up another page on the right here for you. Then just ensure that this has been selected here. So automatically detect user provided data. In the past with the past tag, we had to manually add these CSS selectors in um, over here but now we don't need to do that anymore. Um, this is obviously automatically detected for us. So just ensure that that is correct. So that's enabled, um, that is ticked. Then just hit save. And then obviously I haven't made any changes here. So you'll, you'll click save, I'm just gonna hit cancel. Um, and that is your tag set up. So hopefully that was a help. Let me know or let us know if you have any further questions there and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.